I'm Nina. And I'm Miranda. And today we're going to show you 10 food hacks for weight loss. By making these small changes that we're going to share with you guys, you can lose weight effortlessly. 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 Making these small food changes isn't just good for weight loss, it's just good in general for overall good health, feeling good, and clear skin. You guys should definitely give these a try. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Our first hack, and this is probably the biggest one, is getting rid of the oil. Cut it out. You don't need Oil is not a health food. It's literally just liquid fat and extra calories. A lot of people are just used to cooking their veggies or their meats, anything that they cook, even their soups. Just everyone dumps a lot of oil in it because people think it's necessary, but it's actually just really bad for your health. It clogs your arteries, clogs your pores, gives you greasy hair. In case you're convinced oil is a healthy food and you need it in your diet, we're gonna link in the description box a talk about why oil is bad so you guys can check that out and learn for yourself. You do not need oil to cook your food. Even if you want to make something like a veggie stir fry and you're worried that it's going to stick to the pan, just add some water and as long as you're moving around the veggies, it's not going to stick to the pan. Or if you're sauteing mushrooms, garlic, and onions, you just add a little bit of water and it cooks just as fine. Water. Even just making that small change daily, like you're going to notice a big difference in the way you feel. Also, I know some dessert recipes call for oil and instead of using butter or oil, you can just use a mashed banana and water. You really won't notice a difference. Yeah, or you could use applesauce. It's just less fat and it's healthier for you. Healthy hack number two is Instant Pot. We actually have three of them and they're around like $100 each, but I think it's a great investment because it's just easier. You can cook your beans in there, you can cook your rice in there, veggies, so instead of buying canned beans, like if you think canned beans are cheaper, which they're not that expensive, but just invest in like a rice cooker and you'll be able to cook your beans and spend less money. And what's great is all you have to do is pour your beans, rice, or your lentils, whatever, your soup, into the pot Add a bit of water and click then, a button that says rice and then 20 minutes later you have a big thing of rice. One, this tool is super easy and two, it's great for bulk meals. In the morning our mom will put on beans and rice and then for the whole day we have beans and rice. Yeah, and it's convenient for college students or people who just don't have a lot of time to cook or they just want to make a change to eat healthier. This is just something that we really, really recommend. We'll also link in the description that device in case you want to get it. Third hack is frozen veggies. Keep your frozen veggies around because then when you have your instant pots of rice and beans, you can just add your frozen veggies. You just put them in the microwave. So convenient. Get your vitamins and extra fiber. So tasty and it's just great for literally anybody. It's good for college kids, it's good for adults, on the go. I love rice and beans and veggies, that's my favorite meal. Also, I know a lot of people are afraid of frozen veggies because they're like, oh no, it's better to get it fresh which may be true to some extent, but the thing is, frozen fruits and vegetables are actually picked at the ripest state. Yeah, the best state, and then they're frozen, so they actually have plenty of nutrients. The so main concern shouldn't be like, oh, it's a frozen vegetable. It's like, come on guys, there's like so much worse food out there. It's always funny when people who like eat Cheetos and stuff are like, well, why would you eat like frozen vegetables? Like the microwave is so bad, and I'm just like, wanna be like, you're eating Cheetos. You're like, eating really? out of a plastic bag. <laughs> the next hack, number four, is frozen Frozen bananas. Oh my god, they are amazing. You can do so much with frozen bananas. My favorite thing to do with the frozen banana is you just put it in the Vitamix, add a bit of water, and it makes what I call banana, banana milk. And I can use it in the morning, add some grape nuts or any kind of low-fat cereal, and it, it tastes amazing. It's so sweet. It's it gives creamy. it a nice, yeah, thick thick texture just like milk, I guess. Frozen bananas are also great for making ice cream. We have this tool called a Yonanas, and basically you just put it through the machine and, and it comes out as soft serve. We have all of our friends try banana ice cream and they're like, what the heck, this tastes like ice cream, but you're not getting all the added hormones and the dairy and the fat, yeah. the nasty stuff that you don't want in your body. We'll also link in the description of Yonanas in case you want that. <laughs> Food hack number five is condiments. condiments. Condiments make all the difference. What a lot of people don't realize is how you flavor the food is honestly what makes it taste good. So if you have the right condiments, you can easily eat healthy and enjoy your food. Yeah, and as long as your condiments don't have oil and stuff, then it's fine. Here are some of our favorite condiments. Sriracha, ketchup, we like the Annie's brand because it's low in sugar and salt. We like salsas from Whole Foods. 
foods. This one is green verde and it kind of just has this enchilada flavor. So when I add it to beans and rice, it feels like I'm eating enchiladas. For spices, we like coriander, onion flakes, basil, garlic, basil, anything that makes the breath stinky. That's my favorite. We don't cook with salt, but we do add a little bit of salt right before we eat something to give it extra flavor. When you cook with salt, a lot of the time it, the flavor just gets washed away and then so you add even more salt. So yeah. Obviously the less salt the better, but we're not afraid of salt, you know, we, yeah. we do salt our food. Also, if you are one that likes barbecue sauces, Annie's from Whole Foods, and I think they may have it at Vaughn's and Ralph's and other places now, is a great barbecue sauce, it's a great alternative. Some barbecue sauces have high fructose corn syrup and a bunch of crap in it, so I say this is a trustworthy brand. Yeah, I'm sure you can get all, all different kinds of condiments, you don't need to just go to Whole Foods, you can go to any store, just check the ingredients. Healthy food hack number six is swapping the junky, sugary cereal, the processed cereal. Yeah, the processed ones for something like oatmeal. Oatmeal will keep you full, it has fiber. It's gonna give you sustaining energy because it's a starch, whereas other sugary cereals give you like a, a sugary high, but then you like, have like a crash. Instead go for cereals that are filled with fiber, like something that's like wheat. Yeah, I love grape nuts, that's my favorite. Yeah, and then you can put some banana milk in it. Hack number seven is for the cheese lovers, swapping the cheese for the nutritional yeast. We all know that cheese is not good for you. It's literally rotting milk. It's filled with hormones, it's filled with fat, it's just bad for your acne. Even dermatologists are coming out and saying, get rid of the dairy. It's addictive actually, there's something in it that people are physically addictive. Uh, I, I apparently, cheese is like as addictive as cocaine. Yeah, it releases dopamine in your brain like cocaine. That's why it's so hard for people to get rid of. Nutritional yeast has a natural kind of cheesy flavor and it's great to top to your foods. We've never had real cheese, but our friends say, yeah, this is actually a pretty good comparison. So you guys should try that out for yourself and let us know. Nutritional yeast has that B12, it's low in fat, it's great. Healthy hack number eight is the way we cook our sweet potatoes and that is we use this thing called a sill pack. Basically, you don't have to use oil to cook your sweet potatoes you just yeah. put them on this mat and it's fine we'll also link that in the description in case you're interested in buying that you don't necessarily have to cook your sweet potatoes on a sill pat but it definitely makes the cleaning process easier because yes. obviously you, you can get like things stuck to it but yeah cleaning the sill pat is really easy you can even bake cookies on it too healthy hack number, number nine, nine is swapping your meat or your burgers for a veggie burger. The federal government has come out and said red meat is bad for you. It causes cancer. We red know that. Yeah, if anybody who's still on the train of red meat is healthy for you, you need your protein from your meat, I'm sorry, like you better change your mindset because otherwise you are gonna wind up with type two diabetes, cancer, or heart disease. So this veggie burger recipe is not only tasty, but it's gonna fuel your body and so make you feel filling. Good. And it's filling. Our last hack, number 10, is switching the soda for carbon carbonated water with some lemon. Everybody knows soda is not good for you. It's full of sugar, and not only sugar, but like high fructose corn syrup, chemicals, your body doesn't even process properly, and even the soda that's filled with no calories or whatever, that's seriously still bad for you. Just ditch it. Diet drinks are just as bad as regular sodas, if not worse. If you're one of those people and you just enjoy like the fizziness, or you just like having a drink with you, order a Perrier or sparkling water and sprinkle some lemon on it, and it really tastes good. It's super refreshing. By applying these easy hacks, you can lose weight effortlessly and maintain good health. Without even trying, you'll just feel healthier and feel like a better you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at Nina and Randa. We're posting daily updates on all of those platforms. Click that subscribe button and we will see you next video. Bye!